We are about to make one of the most ridiculous purchases in GTA Online. The value we're going to get for our money in this episode is absolutely insane. So great that I had to make a rags to riches in the middle of the week for it. And uh, would you look at that? To help us out, Rockstar has given us our free $500,000 for logging in in May. And we're about to put that money to good use after the drop. If you followed the steps that we went over in episode 5, you should have a fair bit of money by now. In this episode, we're probably going to spend around two and a half million dollars, somewhere around there. But as long as you have at least one million dollars, you can get what you need to start this episode out. So why am I uploading a rags to riches in the middle of the week? Well, I've been waiting to do a video like this and I was just waiting for the right discount because I want to let any beginner know about the number one tip I can give you in GTA Online. And that is make use of the discounts when they're available to you. Every week in GTA Online, something will be on sale for a reduced price. Unfortunately, most of the time it's something pretty useless like a vehicle that's not meta right now or just something that's useless, okay? But on the rare occasion, and this week is a rare occasion, certain businesses are going to be on sale as well. And this week, we're lucky to have the nightclub 40% off. If you've watched any of my other guides related to businesses on this channel, you'll know that I recommend getting the nightclub as one of your last businesses. And I do. I think it should probably be the fourth or fifth business you buy, maybe the sixth. But when it's on sale for 40% off, you have to get it as soon as you can. You're going to be saving almost a million dollars. This is a must-buy property. So we're about to go over where you should buy your nightclub and how to set it up and all that stuff. But keep in mind that this sale is going to end two days after this video is uploaded on Thursday. So if you happen to be watching this video in the first two days of its upload, definitely buy this as soon as you can. If you're not watching it within the first two days, probably just skip to the next episode, but keep in mind that if a business is ever on sale, you should definitely buy that business. So when it comes to the location of your nightclub, I would probably say that it's less important than a lot of the other businesses in terms of location. And the reason for that is because they're all in Los Santos. There's none at the top of the map. They're not scattered around the map. They're all in the city somewhere. You'll notice that as you continue to make your way up the map, the nightclubs are going to get increasingly more expensive. And that is because the ones closer to the top are slightly better. I mean, they're not head and shoulders above the rest, but it is is more convenient to have them higher on the map. And because we're making use of the 40% discount, I just say go all out and we're going to get one of the most expensive nightclubs in Vinewood. The two Vinewood nightclubs are both really good. Personally, I just prefer the downtown Vinewood nightclub just because it's that little bit closer to the highway, but it doesn't matter. Pick either of these and you'll be good to go. Just like the rest of the businesses, all of these upgrades before you buy the property are pretty much useless. They're all cosmetic except for one and that's storage increasing your storage is gonna increase well obviously your storage but it's gonna increase the amount of stock you can hold before you have to sell now the underground warehouse in the nightclub works in a very similar way to the bunker and the cocaine lockup that we've gone over in the past episodes but it is that little bit even easier to run than those ones it's a bit more passive and if you can't tell already, I absolutely love the nightclub. It's my favorite business in the game because it requires pretty much no work. So like I said, it works the same as the other businesses, except you don't even need to restock this one. But we'll get into all of the technicalities in a little bit. Let's just set this one up first and then we'll jump in. meant to be a live event people we need lights where's the light man brian give me a fucking spotlight all right let's run through this oh, ladies and gentlemen you are about to witness live television entertainment in front of your very eyes this is fame or shame live with your host laszlo and he does that and then shut out 
and then I run on, and everybody claps, and then I go, it's time to introduce the guests, and then, where's my assistant with a list of guests? Hello? If you pull that pregnancy pity party on me one more time, I will lose my cool, okay? Tony, your friend's here. All right, thank God. Brilliant. That's a wrap. Piss off, Laszlo. What? This is a nightclub. This live version of an awful TV show is not happening. Nah, nah, but Tony... Oh, but Tony, please, nothing. We have a new landlord. We're going back to what we do best. Playing loud music, encouraging awful behavior, dancing until dawn, and having personal crises like good, God-fearing idiots. <laughs> Tony, please, I'm desperate. <laughs> Listen, I love narcissism. I built a career on narcissism. I stare into the mirror and beat off like a real man. I pose, I preen, but there's a limit here. I cannot, I will not sit here and watch it. We need kids, young people, midlife crisis divorcees, whoever's gonna bring the party. And we need them wasted and we need them dancing. Not taking selfies with some fuckwits. I ran the fucking 1980s. I was the 1990s. And I'm back. Okay. Get me a DJ! But, t -t Tony, I I'm the DJ. <laughs> I'm the DJ. You're not a fucking DJ. You're a dick. Uh, a dick? But, uh, Tony, I got you a bunch of celebs. I'm gay Tony. The gay Tony. I'm the celebrity here. Me and him. But if you want to bring some famous people into the club, we will host them gracefully. Because I am favor and grace, and I am back. I got an investor. We're running shit again. I need a DJ. <laughs> I've been high since 2010. What do these kids need nowadays? I I'm having a breakdown. <sighs> I'm too old. Me too. Yeah. Tony, can we hug? Yeah, yeah. Please. Sure, yeah. You shouted at me a lot. All right, all right, all right. And Tony? Yeah. I don't think you can say gay Tony anymore. It's not PC. The internet will go crazy. Okay, I'll bear that in mind. All right, all right. Find me English Dave. English Dave? He's the, the DJ, the booker. He's in the book. All right, come on, boys. Let me show you around. All right, listen, big guy, work your list of famous people. We're opening very soon. Okay, you got it. All right. I am going to fix this place up for you. You can do whatever you want down here. Literally, whatever you want. That's a gorgeous space. Plenty of room. Lots of storage. You can set up a hub for your other businesses, maybe. I don't know. I'm just saying. Whatever you need. I know nothing. I mean, I know everything, but hmm. Make your way through there. You got a computer in there. You can bring another staff down here. Your whole entourage. Whatever you need. You sure know how to set that up. And upstairs... Upstairs is another office with a computer on the same network. You can run the club businesses out of that. And the interior team ready to move in. Ho oh, ho. And the name, Omega. Mm, mm, mm. Let's go. Omega! <laughs> hey. Go Pesa! Hello, Dave. Hello, Dave. <laughs> That's my new investor, English Dave. Ah, uh, safe. Skin. Respect. So how you been, Tone? Long time, no power. Uh, how is the kite, Dave, and cursing fate? And you? Oh, oh never better, old son, never better. <laughs> One love. Nice bag? Ah, oh, no, thanks. Ah, <laughs> suit yourself. <sighs> what can I do you for? We're reopening as a nightclub. Ha <laughs> ha! A proper, underground, dance music paradise. And what kind of crowd do you want in this, uh... Paradise. Uh, don't be judgmental, Dave. We're gonna make this place amazing. I need people, you know, who know music. Club music. What you need, old son, is a European. <clears throat> Someone with savoir faire. Someone who can bring in the business. Let me see. <clears throat> no, not him. Not her. To open this dump, bring in a good crowd. Solomon. It's the proper shit. Great music, great crowd, and no cheese. Mm, how much? Let me see what I can do. Daniel, his manager, owes me a favor. I've got a few other DJ ideas as well. One love. One love. Well, you've got to get to work. I'll stay here and oversee the improvements. You get us a staff and a sound system. Do you know Ritual Sacrifice? Festival out in the desert. Got to borrow some things from their socialist utopia. And staff, I've arranged to poach a few. It's all on the office computer. We're going to have to do a few things before we can get the nightclub up and running. So, 
will register as a VIP or an MC president. That's up to you. I just prefer VIP. So we're going to have to do two setup missions for this one. It's a bit longer to set up than the other businesses, of course. Um, doesn't really matter. Let's just do staff first. Listen to that horn. Alright, we got the head technician, we got the bartender. And hey, I don't know you. Now we have to pick up the security. Okay. Are we just stealing this guy from his other job? <laughs> Alright, bro, get in. Set up equipment. What? Bro, what? <laughs> what did I just crash into? What the hell? Oh, the festival's right next to my bunker. How convenient. How convenient is that? Alright, where is it? Right up here. Alright, uh, this seems like kind of a weird place for a festival, guys. But, uh, you do you. I guess. What the hell? <laughs> Why would you have a festival here? <laughs> and it's silent. <laughs> I turned my music off for copyright reasons, of course, and, and there's just no sound. <laughs> Seems like a pretty shit festival. Alright, let's go pick up the DJ, Solomon. What could possibly go wrong, right? <laughs> I think we see your plane coming in. What do you mean he's missed the runway? No, he can't be there he goes, boys. What with all them uppers in his system? Get up there and do something. Push some buttons. Jesus, Dave, there's so many buttons. Just press one. It's what you do for a living. Uh, I'm a DJ, not a fucking pilot. Go on, you, you've got this, my son. Make me proud. Oh. Can you imagine if this actually happened? Like a pilot just passed out. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> this is so dumb. The thing I don't understand is the driver passed out, but the plane's also smoking. Like, it's on fire. What happened? You gonna land it properly? Holy shit! He did it! The he got it! <laughs> Let's go pick him up! Get on him, mate! Can't just leave him there! Hey, Solomon! Moy Dave, where did you find the pilot? Oh, top of the range he was, son. No expense spared. Come here. I told you you were a miracle worker. <sighs> Let's go work some more. <laughs> Twat. <laughs> Drive up. Drive on. Okay. We got a full nightclub, boys. My friend. See, the nightclub's probably like one of my favorite businesses purely because of like it's it's one of the most realistic businesses in the game right like realistically owning a cocaine lockup or something that's obviously a massive stretch but a nightclub is something that everyone obviously if you're over the age of 18 or 21 wherever you live everyone can go to a nightclub right so i think this is one of the more cool businesses in the game Alright, let's go over how to actually make a bit of money from the nightclub and we're sort of just going to go over the very basics. 
because I've already gone over and made a complete individual guide for the nightclub. So if you have no clue how this works and you want to become an expert on the nightclub, I'll leave a card in the top right of your screen now. So check that out now. But if you just want a very brief overview, that's what we're going to do in this video. So while you can make money through the actual nightclub itself, the amount of money you're going to make from there compared to the underground warehouse in the long run is just, it's, it's nothing. The main money is coming from the warehouse. So what I choose to do is just completely forget about the actual nightclub and just obviously put all of my attention into the warehouse underneath. The nightclub doesn't work on the same resupply and sell principles that the other passive businesses do like the MC businesses and the bunker. Instead of resupplying, you actually just hire technicians and they sort of act like the resupply guy. They're going to take care of everything for you. They're going to get the stock and all you need to do is just sell it when your storage is full. In a nutshell, you can hire up to five technicians. You're going to start out with one for free, but if you want to hire more, they're going to cost a certain amount to buy. It starts off at 141000 and they get more expensive the more you buy. There's seven different types of stock that you can make through your nightclub. As you can see on your screen, those are cargo and shipments, sporting goods, South American imports, pharmaceutical research, organic produce, printing and copying, and cash creation. Each of these different types of products correspond to a different business that's in the game. So for example, sporting goods is bunker stock. South American imports is cocaine. Organic produce is obviously weed and so on and so forth. Currently, the only two types of stock that we can actually get are sporting goods and South American imports. And if you're not sure why that is, that's because we only own two businesses and those are cocaine, aka South American imports, and a bunker, aka sporting goods. So now you can sort of start to see why I normally don't recommend getting a nightclub this early on. Because we only have two other businesses, we're only using the nightclub to two-fifths of its potential, essentially. Nonetheless, it is better than nothing, and with the 40% discount, it's definitely worth buying it this early on. And what this sort of allows us to do is use this list as sort of a checklist to buy the next businesses along the way. When we unlock another business, we can use our nightclub to its potential a bit more. So that's going to be kind of cool to unlock in that sense. While we have technicians for this, and it is a lot more passive, there still are upgrades that you should buy. Luckily for the nightclub, there is no staff upgrade, or at least no staff upgrade of importance, because the staff upgrade that you can see here isn't actually going to affect your warehouse at all. That's actually going to affect your nightclub itself, which, like I said, doesn't earn you much money, and I don't really think it's worth your time, because you're going to earn a lot more money doing other things than constantly paying attention to your nightclub. So don't buy the staff upgrade here, but what we are going to buy is the equipment upgrade. Because just like with the other businesses, the equipment upgrade is going to dramatically increase the effectiveness of this business. Without going into profit per hour, I'll save that for the actual nightclub guide I made. This is going to double the amount of money that you can make from the underground warehouse. So definitely buy this one if you can. If you can't afford it, this is what I would be saving up for next. The last thing I want to go over is the sell screen, because as you can see, it is quite different to the other businesses that we've got so far. And as you can see as well, there's a cap on how much of each type of product you can hold. And that cap isn't very high. As you can see, with South American imports, we can only hold two, and sporting goods, we can only hold 20. This really isn't much, and that's why the storage upgrades are extremely important if you want to hold a lot of stock. And you might be thinking, no, I don't want to hold a lot of stock because I don't want more cell vehicles. When I let my stock rise on my cocaine lockup, it always spawns three cell vehicles or four cell vehicles, and I always have to find someone to do it with. Again, this is why I love the nightclub so much. It's actually the latest business to be added into GTA Online, even though it is a couple years old now. Rockstar Games had time to learn from their mistakes with the previous businesses. And as a result, with the nightclub, no matter how much stock you have, there's always only going to be one cell vehicle. Which, of course, is fantastic and makes this business really, really, really easy to run. This is the ultimate passive business. So, essentially, you can max out your storage, get all the technicians, buy the equipment upgrade, and you can just leave your nightclub for, like, a week. And then come back in a week once it's got completely full stock, 
you can sell that and you can get a million dollars for pretty much doing nothing. That's why I love this business so much. So who knows, man, maybe that's something we're going to do in next episode or a bit further on after that. But I hope this video sort of gave you a brief idea of how to use the nightclub and I hope it helped you out on your journey to becoming rich in GTA Online. So that'll do it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed the video, you know what to do. It's always greatly appreciated. Join the Discord if you need friends to play with. We've got 20,000 people in there now. So I'll chat to you guys over there and I'll see you in the next video. Poise. Since I was in the seventh grade, had my first kid, I was only 17. Always a provider for my pack like Wolverines. But you won't find me on the mountaintop.